Hey everybody, Chance from Aqua Escape here. I wanted to show you guys uh, just a comparison between uh, Cryptochorine Spirialis Tiger and Cryptochorine Tonkinesis Kabutii. Uh, let's see. So, here is a blade of the Tonkinesis Kabutii. I'm probably butchering that. I'll have to double check it and if I'm wrong I'm wrong um, look at that that's awesome nice thin needly blade the base of it if I can even get a view of it I tried to cut some out of the way <laughs> the base of it behind the Rotella Mexicana Wayanad it's such a cool structure I wish I could chop more out of the way let's see if I can move some stuff there we go kinda I only have one hand, so I can't really zoom in. Let's see. Nope. I can't do it. <laughs> anyway, it just has cool structure to it, the way it grows off. Uh, it's It really keeps that almost spirialis base, but just more refined. Uh, how spirialis kind of, if you look, it just kind of grows wherever and throws <laughs> blades wherever. This has like this cool, just ooh, nice elegance to it. Um, and then compare the two blades of Tiger and Kabutii. I gotta zoom in. Let's see. If I drop my phone, it'll be fun. So to compare them both there, that's just awesome, you know? Very similar, yet such, you know, almost the same pattern in this leaf, but very much smaller obviously but I just wanted to share that with you guys uh, just a, a thinner smaller option to the ever so popular Spirialis tiger uh, yes Cryptochorion Tonkinesis Kabutii again I'll apologize if I'm totally butchering that but I'll put the proper spelling in the comments or in the description of the video for you guys and that's it just a quick little comparison there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comments or feel free to PM me on Facebook. As always, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Have a good one, guys.